Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Monique and today's video is just gonna be a little work from home vlog. So for those of you that do not know, I am a marketing coordinator for a company here in West Michigan. My working situation has been a little crazy ever since COVID first hit back in March. Before that, obviously I was working full time in the office and then once it hit, I went full time working from home because I work in a smaller satellite office and there's not that many employees that work there probably like six there's really not that much at all I've kind of gone through phases where I've been like working full-time in the office and then right back into full-time working from home and now I'm kind of doing like a hybrid where I'm working about two or three days in the office and then the other days at home that is like the perfect schedule in my opinion I am very grateful and appreciative that I am able to do both although I do wish it was under different circumstances I work eight to five and I already did my morning routine I worked out got dressed put on some makeup and now I am just about to get started working for the day but I did just want to give one little tip before getting started with my workday and that is to always get ready every single morning if you are working from home. I seriously think that it just sets the day for so much more productivity when you get ready and get dressed for the day. It doesn't have to be a full face of makeup. It could honestly just be like washing your face and doing your skincare. But really, I don't know why, but I feel so much more productive when I change out of my pajamas and I get dressed and I put my makeup on. I don't know, I just feel better. So that is my little tip if you struggle with being productive is to change out of your PJs. Wake up just a little earlier so that you can spend some time on getting ready and I think that that might help you be a little more productive and just feel better. Now I am going to get started with my work day. The first thing that I like to do every morning is open up my email and kind of just make sure that I didn't have anything come up that's like pressing or that I need to get done right away. I probably spend like 10-15 minutes kind of like sorting through everything. I get a lot of like random emails and sometimes there's stuff hidden in there that I kind of needed to know. After I do my emails, I always like to write out my to-do list. I will kind of just flip back from what I didn't finish yesterday and look at yesterday's to-do list and then kind of add that on to today's to-do list. So I will just write down everything that I know I need to get done. And then after that, I will look at my to-do list and start ranking it in order of priority. Making a priority list like that seriously helps me so, so much with being productive because the way I do it, I kind of set a rule for myself that I am not allowed to move on to the next task until I finish the first one. Doing that just makes sure that I'm not hopping all over the place and I'm staying productive and focused on the task that's ahead of me. Obviously, I know sometimes things come up and I kind of have to push a task back and work on what came up first or so on and so forth. But most of the time, I do stick to my priority system. So I need to take some time and do that for this morning. It looks like today I have a lot of stuff that I need to do involving trade shows. I do a lot of the trade show planning for our company. Although a lot of in-person trade shows are canceled, some of them are actually planning to resume for the following year. Other ones are being held virtually and I just always have to make sure that I stay on top of that because we attend a lot of trade shows. And then I also need to work on a few flyers and brochures and a few other things. So I think that I'm first going to get started with some trade show stuff. Ah! 
It is about 10 o'clock right now and I had to take a little break and come outside to let my cat out. We don't really let her out like normal, like my last cat that I had was like an indoor outdoors, but with her we never really did that and she's very skittish so she kind of likes to go out like a dog and just like roam for a few minutes. Over the past few months it's been winter so she hasn't really been crying to come out as much but it's been getting nicer and she cries and cries and cries and I love her but it is so annoying. So I've put up with it for over two hours and I decided to just let her out real quick and let her get some fresh air. All right, it is 12 o'clock now, which means it's lunchtime. I think that I'm going to make myself some like grilled chicken nugget breast things that I got from Costco. I will show you if I do make them. Just real quick before I do that, two things that I wanted to mention. First, I got a haircut. I don't know if you can notice because my hair is already super long, but I got like my bangs kind of cut. I don't even know if you call them bangs, but whatever these are, face framing. And then I got a couple inches off and it just feels so much healthier and fresh. And I really love it. Second, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for everybody that watches my videos and has subscribed to my channel. Yesterday, I actually hit 1,000 subscribers and I can't even like express how happy that makes me, how grateful I am for every single person that has subscribed and even just watches 10 seconds of my videos. I don't want to get on my soapbox too much, but I was actually looking looking at some of my previous journals from like 2019 and in them I was actually writing to God and I was just like God please guide me and direct me like YouTube had been on my heart since 2019 and I really wanted to start <sighs> I have to put my camera down my arms getting tired um I really really wanted to start YouTube way back then in 2019 but just like everybody else I was nervous and scared of what people would think. It's just crazy to me that it took me like over a year and a half to finally work up the courage and start my YouTube channel back in June 2020, so last June. I just did it, I bit the bullet, I was like, you know what? I would rather fail at trying something new than to have never tried at all. And I am so grateful. This is like such a creative outlet for me and I love that every video I edit, every video I film, I feel like I'm just getting better and better at my skill. I mean, I have like a long way to go and I you can always improve, but it's just a fun little hobby for me and, and I am just so, so grateful that you take the time to watch and support me. It really means so much. So yeah, I have a lot of fun ideas to come and I'm excited to see what this next year, I mean, it is March, but the rest of 2021, what is in store, you can only go up from here, right? <laughs> you guys have any like video requests or ideas or suggestions or anything like that, I would love to hear them. Leave them down below in the comments. I mean, like I said, I do have a lot of fun things planned, but I'm always open to hearing suggestions, but all right. Let's go make some lunch. All right, I just ate lunch. I didn't really eat that much just because I find that if I eat too big of a lunch, then I am like super sleepy and cannot get through the rest of my day. And I did have a bigger breakfast, so I really wasn't too hungry. I had to put a sweatshirt on because I don't know if it's just me or what, but I swear every time I eat, I am always like freezing after. So I actually got this Kristen John's Happiness Is Here crew neck for my birthday. And I love it. I love Kristen John's. She's like my inspo in everything in life. And this is the first time I'm actually wearing this. I really like it, it's so cute. <sighs> it is 12.54 right now. My lunch break is almost over. I did make myself a nice cup of coffee. 
I always like to start my afternoon of work with a cup of coffee because I really feel like it's just the little things like a cup of coffee or a fun drink that like keeps me motivated and productive especially in the afternoon because the afternoon is the time that I get tired and I'm not as energized and motivated as I am in the morning. Setting myself up like that with a little cup of coffee, I'm going to play a good podcast. So if you don't do this already, I encourage you to start incorporating little things like that into your days to look forward to because I find that it's the stuff like that that helps you stay motivated and on task. I just have a few questions. I was gonna ask you yesterday, but you were pretty busy. I just put my hair up. Now I'm feeling very Kristen Johns because I have my hair how she wears it in the clip. It is about 2.30 right now and this is the time of the day where I start to fall off again. I grabbed myself a LaCroix because for me, like I said earlier, it really is the little things and having something to look forward to that just like keeps me motivated and staying on task. So I'm going to open this and listen to another podcast and that should be enough to keep me motivated until 5 p.m. <laughs> Now I need to send out a few emails and continue on with my to-do list for the day. It is time to start crossing some things off of the to-do list. I told you I put this on like 500 times a day. I mention this in like tons of my other videos. So if you didn't believe me, here's proof. <laughs> I am just finishing up things right now. It is about five o'clock. So I just crossed off everything that I did for today. And now I'm just going to quick jot down a few things that I need to do tomorrow just so that in the morning I remember. And it's fresh in my memory. I always like to end the day by writing down the tasks that I need to do for tomorrow. And then in the morning, I will just look through my email and then kind of like add on to that. I'm actually starting to get super hungry now. <laughs> it's definitely because I had a very late lunch, but that is all right. I will make up for it tonight. My next video is going to be a little like loungewear and basics try on haul. I got a lot of good things from Zara, Target, Urban Outfitters, and I feel like a couple other places. So be on the lookout for that. That should be up next Tuesday. But all right, my camera is like the battery is flashing. So I got to end this quick. But thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.